And getting to this point would not have been possible without the Americans who volunteered for vaccine trials. Today we're learning more about how Central Florida played a role in developing the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. News 6's Amanda Castro explains why the work is far from over. I've been in the study since August. Kathleen Arthur says she didn't have any concerns when she signed up for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine trial at Excel Clinical Research. If it helps people and it doesn't kill me, then I'm in for it. At the time, she didn't know if she got the vaccine. She recently learned she got the placebo. So she's back at the DeLand facility today to get her first dose. You don't even feel a pinch. <laughs> Dr. Bruce Rankin is leading the research efforts. He says 1,200 people participated in the Pfizer and Moderna trials. The data collected used to determine if the vaccines are effective, ultimately both getting emergency use authorization from the FDA in December. The main thing is people want to know it's safe and it has been well studied and that's what our job is here to do. Dr. Rankin says just because this part of the trial is done, the work is far from over. His team will continue to monitor the participants to see how long the vaccines will work. So we need to be able to get those uh, antibody tests and monitor people out one year and two years to see how well the vaccine holds up and also if we need to have boosters. The site is also conducting two other COVID-19 vaccine trials. Dr. Rankin says if they're approved, that could help meet the demand for vaccines. We should see a shift in it because if we have you know four or five vaccines that are all effective, uh, they can be uh, manufactured independently and distributed. Painless. As for Kathleen, she says she wanted to do her part and hopes this brings us one step closer to ending the pandemic. We want to move on, get back to normal. Dr. Rankin says they're still looking for trial participants. If you want more information on how you can sign up, we posted a link at clickorlando.com. Reporting in Deland, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.